Hi Reddit. This is the AKV 5 to 1 uh, civilian version in 223 Remington. So it's uh, my personal gun, uh, one of the six or one of the seven ever have been released to the civilian public hands uh, in Russia. So what this gun is about? So basically it's it's very close uh, to hybrid between AK-12 and uh, AK-74, AK-100 series, but made by upper lower type of receiver. Uh, it do have many parts taken from AK-12, so it's buttstock, it's uh, rear trunion, 5.5mm uh, basically from AK-100 series. So this latch is uh, AK-12, so AK-12 from the first generation AK-12 pistol grip. So this is a handguard uh, from civilian AK-12 long handguard. So basically there was a version shorter one, this is longer one. So uh, AK-12 guard block, AK-12 model device. So on the third generation on AK-12 now it has uh, a larger part to fit the qu quick detached suppressor. Here it's now there is no suppressor with so always made from the usual receiver so charging handle is on the left <coughs> uh, safety lever works in the logic of usual key so it's like you can use it like index finger or you can use your thumb there is now this select like on the K12 third generation right now. So this is a gun uh, which can be disassembled to parts. So to disassemble it, you, we do have the front pin, the rear pin. To remove the front pin, we should use push the spring of the handguard. Uh, rear pin is made like uh, Zik one. So it's not captive on this uh, basically R&D gun. And to disassemble it, you should push um, the recoil spring. And basically, here's your upper and here's your lower. So recoil spring is uh, from AK100 series or AK12. Uh, it works like that. And obviously, you can't close the lower if your trigger is not here. So lower with a fake third pin, uh, basically because it's civilian gun. Uh, you do have a carrier's top here, so you can't charge uh, the rifle if it's on safety. So you can uh, do the chamber, uh, chamber check, but you can't charge it and obviously you can't fire it. So this is a kit well stock. Uh, it's folder. This latch seems to work. This is a blockage to not allow it to fire in the folded condition because of the Russian laws. Let's move to the upper. Uh, basically, upper is made from the sheet steel, 1.5 millimeter. It do have this nose, steel nose, and basically, you do have this continuous rail. So it was designed to to be like uh, night vision devices capable. So basically, you do have like red dot, you do have like magnifier, you do have like thermal, you do have like pack inside in front of it. Uh, but it definitely adds weight, so this section adds 200 grams uh, compared to a K12 plastic upper. Uh, the charging handle is on the left. Uh, it works like quick detached uh, swing loop, so it do have the same, <laughs> basically the same the same dimensions, and you can store it here. Well, disassembled to not wasted and the carrier 
here. Uh, this is not a factory part. This is a KNS uh, piston, obviously, because the gun, uh, the gun is overgassed as any AK, <laughs> basically as any AK. So this is a basic Saiga bolt. This is two to three. So and this is a base carrier. So only uh, standard charging handle cut off and this is a hole for this charging handle here uh, front union is a basic AK100 series front union so basically this gun can be made from the sheet metal if you if you wish to do that you can take uh, original AK receiver and cut the front part uh, basically just makes this area stronger to keep the front pin and uh, basically, if you fold the upper and uh, rivet it to the to the um, uh, guide rods, the guide is for carrier. So basically, it's not hard gun to build if you can, if you wish to build something like that in your uh, workshop. But. Uh, if you build this like on the factory, so it's a bit tricky because it should be built, then it should be hardened, and then it should be riveted, etc., etc. So uh, it's a big, <laughs> it's a, it's a whole deal. The gas tube is uh, stays in place. Um, to clean it, you just open uh, this part from the gas block, and basically that's all. To reassemble gun uh, after cleaning. Basically, you do the same steps as you do for usual key. You take your carrier, put it into the upper, line it up with uh, this hole here. So uh, basically, uh, the carrier don't travel so far, th so far the back, uh, so so long back uh, during the reloading cycle. That's why it stays in place. Put the recall spring assembly. Check that the trigger is uh, in. It's not. Uh, it's like it's not pushed down. It's in the work position. Uh, to insert the front pin, you should use. Push spring here. You press the recoil spring, goes back and goes here. So the cover, dust cover, is basically uh, Galil Ace type, and so. Is it is it? So it's it's a nice gun, 3.8 kilograms of weight, but it's just in small numbers. It was made in small numbers and it's not available to public, unfortunately. If you do have a questions, ask them in the comments. So Pia, thank you for watching.